the the future trouble is that we would have to close out the meeting completely and and everybody would have to re-sign in so exactly. i don't know that it's enough of an issue to um as long as we put it in the chat and we keep reminding it in that i think that will be fine yeah agreed okay you can't add languages on the fly though yeah okay let's everybody go ahead and mute themselves everybody except for uh brother uh bishop holmes and uh, of course, uh, Brother Holquin, Pastor Holquin. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Pastor Holquin, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to Apostolic Mentoring. God bless you. Brother Holquin, you have to translate that. Uh, bienvenidos a, a, a este estudio. Uh, we're so thankful to have everybody on this call today. Gracias que están todos aquí participando hoy. And I can already feel the Holy Ghost on this call today. Siento el Espíritu Santo en esta llamada hoy. There's no doubt in my mind that God is going to speak to us in a very special and powerful way today. Yo sé que Dios va a hablar con nosotros en un lugar aquí y poderosamente. From the moment that I woke up this morning, my, my spirit's been excited about what we're going to receive today from Bishop Paul. Desde que desperté esta mañana, vamos a ver el poder de Dios por el pastor Holmes. And I want us just to take a few moments at the opening of this session. Vamos a tomar un minutos antes de comenzar. And I want us to have a time of prayer. Vamos a orar. And release the victory of the Lord into this call. Y vamos a soltar la victoria de Dios en esta llamada. Release the anointing of the Lord. La unción del Señor. Release the power of God. El poder de Dios. And I want us to prepare our minds and our hearts to receive what thus saith the word of the Lord. Preparar nuestra mente y nuestro corazón lo que dice la palabra de Dios. Let's lift up our voices and our hands and let's pray together. Vamos a orar juntos en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus, en right now, God, I thank you for the power that is already on this call today. I thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost that destroys every yoke, God. Itala boho shatala bakia tala bahasata. God, fill this call with your power. Fill this call with your anointing, God. Speak life into us today, God. Give direction, spiritual direction, wisdom, anointing, God. God, let there be a clear sound from heaven, God, as we hear on this call tonight, God. God, anoint Bishop Holmes. Anoint the hope when God is translated. Anoint Sister Constance, God, the Georgia of God. Anoint the translators, God. Sister Debbie, God, put your hand upon them. Put your word into their mouth, God. Let there be a clear sound from heaven tonight. God, let the windows of heaven open tonight. Let the glory of the Lord fill this fall. God, God, let there be something so that we are exposed to tonight, God, that transforms our ministries and our lives, our families, God, and the church of the living God in these last days. In the name of Jesus Christ. So let us just be hearers of the word, God, but let us be doers of your word, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Gracias. Oh, praise God. You can feel the anointing already on this call. Oh, yes. And it is such a high honor to have Bishop Holmes with us tonight. Bishop Holmes is a man of God. He's a man of prayer. He's a global apostolic leader. Es una líder de apostólico globalmente. He is a true Christian. Él es un cristiano verdaderamente. And I'm so thankful that I'm able to call him my friend. Y gracias que yo puedo llamarle mi amigo. Bishop Holmes, thank you for ministering to us tonight. Obispo Holmes, gracias por ministrarnos hoy. 
We love you very much. The rest of this call is yours, sir. Llamamos mucho. Esto, el resto de esta llamada es suya. Yes, sir. Well, we uh, love and appreciate uh, brother and sister Robinette and their beautiful Ap girls. Apreciamos a lo, la familia Robinette. Um, well, he wasn't here a couple of years, but his uh, precious family are here with us. Su preciosa familia estaba aquí con nosotros. He was going in and out, doing the work of God. Él estaba saliendo, verdad, hacer la, la obra del Señor. And I don't know of anybody that has a greater burden and no love for God que, que tiene una carga tan fuerte como la hermana. And uh, brother and sister Robinette, and now their girls is in ministry. Y, y toda su familia, el hermano y la hermana y sus hijas están en el ministerio. He uh, truly has a, a burden for souls and the kingdom of God. He's kingdom minded. Es, su mente está sobre el reino y tiene llamado para las almas. He's ministered for us a number of times and we've always had people receiving the baptism. El ha ministrado por nosotros y varias gentes no ha recibido el don del Espíritu Santo. Because he's such a man of faith. Porque es un hombre de fe. He don't just read it in the Bible, he believes the Bible. No solamente lo lee, pero cree la Biblia. He believes what that Bible says, God will do. Él cree lo que dice la Biblia, Dios lo va a hacer. He has been a tremendous blessing here. Ha sido una bendición aquí, local. We're very humbled that he has asked us to do this. Somos humildes porque los ha llamado a hacer esto. We count it a great honor. Es una gran honra de hacerlo. To be speaking, preaching to you today. It's, uh, well, it's about noon here, five minutes after 12. I understand it's uh, evening time there with you. Yo sé que aquí es la, un poquito pasado las 12. Pero es la noche ahí donde están ustedes en el otro lado del mundo. So I trust God will use us for the next few minutes. Confío en Dios en los en de segundos que vamos a hacer estos minutos. To help and to encourage you to uh, work for God and live for the Lord. Da, para animarlos de trabajar y vivir por el Señor. May the Lord lift up your spirits. Que el Señor levante su espíritu. May his hand be upon you and your work and the field of freedom. La mano del Señor se sobre su, su, usted y su, su obra. That is our prayer. Esa es nuestra oración. For the last several weeks, uh, I want to say also that I apologize for what happened last Monday. Uh, y por las semanas que han pasado y quiero que me perdonen por lo que pasó el lunes pasado we're glad the Lord give us another opportunity que gracias que Dios nos da otra oportunidad so may the word of the Lord be a blessing to you today que la palabra de Dios sea una bendición para usted hoy may the hand of the Lord just reach down and touch us all que la mano del Señor toque a todos hoy in Jesus name the nombre de Jesús. The Lord has been dealing with me about this subject for the last number of weeks. El Señor ha tratado conmigo en varias semanas de este tema. I want to read you a scripture text. Quiero leer una escritura. It's in Numbers, the 14th chapter, the 24th verse. Números 14, versículo 21. It's this great man of God by the name of Caleb. El, el hombre grande llamado Caleb. He was just a different man than the rest of the Israelites. Era un hombre diferente de, de, de los demás judíos. You'll see from this scripture reading that he saw the world from a different perspective. Leyendo esta escritura, usted va a ver, ver que él tenía otra, otra perspectiva del mundo. And it said of Caleb, y dijo de Caleb, but my servant Caleb, pero mi siervo Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, porque tenía otro espíritu con él, and hath fully 
He has followed me fully. Y me ha seguido completamente. Then God said, him will I bring into the land whereunto he went. Y el Señor dijo, lo voy a traer a la tierra donde él fue. And his seed shall possess it. Y su semilla va a poseerla. I want you to notice the two important things. Note dos cosas importantes. First of all, another spirit. Uh, primeramente, otro espíritu. Oh God, today, give us another spirit. Oh Señor, danos otro espíritu. And the only way you get that other spirit y el único modo de recibir ese otro espíritu is through prayer and relationship with the Lord. Es a través de oración y relación con el Señor. People that are too busy to pray, gente que está muy ocupada para orar, they're just too busy. Están muy ocupadas. The most important thing that any of us will do today is talk to God. La cosa más importante que vamos a hacer hoy, vamos a hablar con Dios. And take time to talk with God. Y tomar tiempo para hablar con Dios. That's the only way we can get our spirit changed. Es el único modo que podemos cambiar nuestro espíritu. We were all born in sin. Todos fuimos nacidos en pecado. Shaping in iniquity. Y hecho iniquidad. We were just little within ourselves. Estábamos nosotros en sí mismos solos. Selfish. Éramos egotistas. Self-centered. Egotista mismo. And it's only through the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Es por el Espíritu Santo. That we're able to see the things of God. Que podemos ver las cosas de Dios. And people that do not build this relationship in a consistent manner. Y gente que no construye este, esta relación constantemente. When they see the things of God. Cuando miran las cosas de Dios. They're only confused. Están confundidos. Because you've got to have a revelation. Porque tienes que tener una revelación. Everything about God is a revelation. Todas las cosas de Dios son por re revelación. God has to reveal it to you. Dios tiene que revelarlo a usted. We need to pray that God will reveal himself to us. Tenemos que orar que Dios se va a revelar así a nosotros. If you pray, si usted ora, it's because you've had a relationship, a revelation. Es porque usted tiene una relación y una revelación con el Dios. If you dress, live holy, si usted vive santo, it's because you've had a revelation. Es porque ha tenido una revelación. All the things of God. Todas las cosas de Dios. Are hinged. Están uh, puestas. On our revelation. En nuestra re revelación con Dios. So it's obvious. So es, 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 podemos ver. That Caleb had this revelation. Que Caleb tenía esta revelación. He had a revelation that the others did not have. He had a revelation that the others did not have. Because the scripture tells us that Caleb hath followed me fully. Porque la escritura nos dice que Caleb me siguió completamente. I'm 71 years old. Yo tengo 71 años. I've been preaching since I was 16. Ha predicado desde la edad de 16. I took the church when I was 19. Tomé la iglesia cuando tenía 19. It grieves my heart. Me, me duele el corazón. I've had hundreds and hundreds of people. De cienes y cienes de gente. They followed for a ways. Ellos siguieron por un corto tiempo. But they did not follow fully. Pero no siguieron completamente. Because they did not have the revelation. Porque no tenían revelación. And you only get the revelation. Y el único modo que tú agarras la revelación. Through your connection with es God. Es con esa conexión. You can't see it with your natural. No lo puedes ver con los ojos. 
You can't figure it out with your mente comprender. It's only God. solamente Dios. So if you do not have a prayer life, si usted tiene una vida de oración, that every day of your life, y todos los días de su vida, you find a place to pray. But tienes que encontrar un lugar donde orar. There's no way you can have another spirit. No hay otro modo de tener otro espíritu. And there's no way you will ever follow God fully. Otro mente de seguir a Dios completamente. The benefit of doing this. Beneficio de hacer esto. He'll bring you into his promised land. Él te va a traer a su tierra prometida. Remember what he said about that promised land? Acuérdate que dijo de esa tierra prometida? He said it is a land. Es una tierra. That is flowing. Que está fluyendo. With milk and honey. Y miel. What does this represent? Que representa esto? A rich, wonderful, glorious life. Una, una vida riquísima. Because you're living on the milk and the honey of life. En la leche y la miel de Dios. Oh, what a good life God oh, gives qué vida tan buena. When we follow him fully. Seguimos a él completamente. He said, I'm going to bring you, Caleb, into that land. Te voy a traer a ti, Caleb, en esta tierra. The second thing he said. La segunda cosa que dijo. And this is one of the most beautiful promises. Y esa es una promesa tan preciosa. He said it's going to be a land for your seed shall possess it. Va, dijo, va a ser una tierra que tu semilla va a poseerla. So we're not just praying and living this life for ourselves. No solamente estamos viviendo y orando y viviendo esta vida para sí mismo. We're praying and living this life. Estamos viviendo y llorando esta vida. For a generation that is following in our footsteps. Para las generaciones que lo están siguiendo a nosotros hoy. And there's nothing more wonderful. No hay nada que cosa tan buena. Than to see your children getting blessed. Hijos que sean bendecidos. Your grandchildren getting blessed. Tus nietos sean bendecidos. And passing this beautiful promise. Y, y dándoles este, esta promesa tan bonita. From us down to them. De nosotros hacia ellos. I know you agree with me. Están acuerdo conmigo. We're really in a messed up world. Estamos en un mundo que está en ca caos. This, this world is running backwards. Este mundo está atrasándose para atrás. There's no hope in this world. No hay esperanza en este mundo. Our only hope is in no God. Esperanza es en Dios. And then we think about these precious babies of ours. Y no pensamos de estos niños de nosotros. Their only hope. La única esperanza de ellos. Is when they connect to our vision. Cuando ellos se conectan a nuestra visión. Oh, I thank God. Oh, gracias a Dios. I stand before you today. Estoy delante de ustedes hoy. Because I had two Porque tengo dos godly parents. Dos padres. You could ever imagine. Que usted puede imaginar. They loved God with all. Dios amaban a Dios. They wouldn't own and off. About they were fully following God. And the harvest has been unbelievable. Y la cosecha ha sido tan tremenda. Because God gave them that promise. Que Dios le dio a ellos esa promesa. And he said, your seed y tu is going to possess that land. Va a poseer esa tierra. So I can tell you with all certainty today. Yo te digo completamente de cierto. We're eating from vineyards we did not plant. Estamos comiendo de, de viñas que nosotros no plantamos. 
and drinking from wells that we did not dig. Tomando de norias que nosotros no escarbamos. And you may say, Brother Holmes, what is that all about? Y hermano Holmes, puede usted decir, ¿qué, qué consiste de esto? To encourage all of us. Para animarnos a todos nosotros. That we're, we pass it down. Estamos pasándolo así abajo. To the next generation. A la siguiente generación. As God has blessed us. Como Dios los ha bendecido. Let me tell you, if you didn't have those kind of parents, Déjeme, si usted no tuvo estos tipos de padres, you are amazingly blessed. Está bendecidamente grande. Because you're breaking the chain. Porque usted está rompiendo cadenas. You're turning it around for your the generations that are following usted you. Está volteando para bueno a las generaciones que siguen. And I want to tell you, God will be with you in a mighty way. Dios va a estar contigo. To help you and to lead you. Ayudarte y guiarte. So this is the message that God has laid upon my heart. Este es el mensaje que Dios ha puesto en mi corazón. That I've been preaching wherever yeah. I've been going the last few weeks. En, en siguientes semanas ha, ha salido. And it's in the form of a question. Es en forma de una pregunta. What will be your legacy? ¿Qué va a ser su legado? And more important than Más just importante. your legacy of your vocation and home. Y su el legado y su, y su hogar. What will be your legacy in the kingdom of God? ¿Qué va a ser su legado en el reino de Dios? Now the simple meaning of the word legacy. ¿Qué, qué significa legado? Is a legacy is what a legacy is what actually remains from our actions here on earth. El legado es lo que sobra de nuestras acciones aquí en la tierra. To put it in a nutshell, ponerlo más pequeño, it's what we leave behind. Es que dejamos a nuestros hijos. You know, to build a great legacy, para construir un legado grande, it comes through Purposely learning. Viene por aprendiendo. And wanting to grow in God. Y que, queriendo crecer en Dios. It's learning how to control our spirit. Es como controlar nuestro espíritu. And our flesh. Y nuestra carne. You know, to sum it up in one word. Para decirlo en una palabra. It's that word that none of us like. Es, no es, es, es palabra que no los gusta. And our flesh sure does not want to hear it. Nuestra carne no lo quiere oír. It's called discipline. Es, se llama disciplina. The flesh never wants to be disciplined. La carne nunca quiere estar en disciplina. But the rewards are connected to discipline. Don está conectado. You, you can't separate those two. No puede separar estos dos. I tell them uh, often here in the church. Muchas veces digo aquí en la iglesia. You got to reach back and get yourself by the nap of the neck. Tienes que levantar aquí de, del collar. And you got to kind of jerk on it a time or two. Y jalarle para arriba. And get it up on its toes. Y levantarlo en sus dedos. And tell the flesh. Dile a la carne. It doesn't matter whether you want to do it or not. No importa si tú quieres hacerlo o no. You don't have no say in this. Tú no tienes que el dicho de decir nada. Let me tell you. Déjame decirte. If you do what the flesh wants you to do. Si usted hace lo que la carne quiere. It'll be a shipwreck. Va a ser un, un, un desastre. It'll be similar to the story of Samson. Va a ser igual que la historia de Samson. In my opinion. In mi opinión. That's one of the saddest stories in the whole Bible. Historia muy triste en la Biblia. A man that was called of God. Un hombre llamado de Dios. To deliver God's people. Para libertar el pueblo de Dios. To carry a message. 
de llevar un mensaje to win great victories. para ganar uh, victorias grandes. And you read the story and it's heartbreaking. Usted lee la historia y te quebra el corazón. Because he was so controlled by his flesh. Porque estaba muy controlado por su carne. He was a strong man. Un hombre fuerte. But he couldn't conquer himself. Pero él no podía vencerse a sí mismo. You know, you read the miracles he done. Usted lee los prodigios que él hizo. It was all connected around his flesh. Estaba todo conectado alrededor de su carne. Fleshly appetite. Uh, carne con apetito de carne. Fleshly desire. Deseos de carne. And he's just using his great, marvelous talent. Está haciendo su ta talento. When the people of God could have been victorious. El pueblo de Dios puede ser victorioso, pero no fue. And I think about today. Y pienso de hoy. As you know, I don't personally even know who I'm preaching to today. No sé a quién estoy predicando hoy. But God has called you. Pero Dios te ha llamado. There's not a doubt in my mind you're a Samson. No hay duda en mi mente que usted es un Samson. You're destined for greatness. Este destinado a grandes cosas. God's going to do mighty things through Dios you. Dios va a hacer grandes cosas con usted. But it all hinges back. Todo está conectado. On that little word. En esa palabra. Called discipline. Llamada disciplina. Think about it. Piense en eso. To discipline yourself. Para disciplinarse usted mismo. To pray. Para orar. Daily. Cada día. Jesus said if any man had come after me. Jesús dijo, si el hombre me sigue, let him discipline, deny, deje que, que tenga disciplina, his flesh, y niegue su, su carne, take up his cross, levante su cruz, and follow me, y sígueme a mí, daily, cada día. That's the key. Esa es la llave. I tell them often, les digo uh, muchas veces, You got to put the flesh in the back seat. Tiene que poner a la carne atrás en la silla. And you put the Holy Ghost in the driver's seat. El Espíritu Santo manejando. And you let the Holy Ghost steer where the flesh goes. Y deja el Espíritu Santo que sigue la carne al Espíritu. You know what's going to happen? ¿Sabe qué va a suceder? You're going to build a great legacy. Vas a dejar un legado grande. For others to follow in. Para otros que te sigan. God can't use flesh. Dios no puede usar carne. He can only use the anointing of the Holy Ghost. No más puede ser la unción del Espíritu Santo. To lead and to guide us. Para ligar y guiarnos. That we can lead others. Que nosotros podemos guiar a otros. To that land that's flowing. Para esa tierra que está fluyendo. With that milk and honey. La leche y miel. Oh, help us, God, today. Ayúdanos, Dios, hoy. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Give us the strength, Lord. Danos la fortaleza, Señor. Give us the revelation, God. La revelación a Dios. Let us see the revelation of prayer. Déjanos ver la revelación. Let us see the revelation of fasting weekly. La revelación que podemos ayunar cada semana. Where Jesus Christ can be glorified. Donde Jesús puede ser glorificado. And his name can be lifted up. Puede ser glorificado. And then God has purpose in our life. Dios tiene propósito en nuestra vida. Thank God for people who are kingdom minded. Gracias a Dios por gente que está en su pensamiento en el reino de Dios. And they're building a legacy not for themselves. Están construyendo un legado no para sí mismo. But for the kingdom of God. Pero para el reino de Dios. It's not about me. No es de, de mí. Or you. Usted. It's about the kingdom. Es el reino de Dios. Let the kingdom come. Deja que el reino venga.
Let his will be done. Deje su voluntad se hecha. On earth as it is in heaven. Como en el cielo. Think about the blessing of living that blessed life. Viviendo esa vida bendecida. Walking in his kingdom. Andando en su reino. And it's a kingdom like is in heaven. Es el reino de Dios en el cielo. Think about bringing the kingdom of heaven down to earth. Entrando el reino de Dios a la tierra. And living in that victorious kingdom of God. en ese reino victorioso. Here on this earth. Aquí en esta tierra. Thank God for people. Gracias por gente. That are kingdom minded. Tiene su mente en el reino de Dios. They're not personally trying to make a name and leave a legacy about them. Están dejando un legado para ellos mismos. They're giving of themselves. Pero ellos se están dando de ellos mismos al, al mundo. For a far greater purpose. Para un propósito más grande. And that's the kingdom of es God. El reino de Dios. Let me give you an example of a kingdom-minded man. Un ejemplo de una, de una persona con el reino en su mente. One of the greatest. Uno de los más grandes. His name was Joshua. Su nombre era Josué. Joshua was kingdom minded. José tenía una, una mente del reino. It's recorded of his legacy. Está grabado en su legado. In a very few words. En unas palabras, muy pocas palabras. Joshua the 11th chapter in the 15th verse. Josué 11 y 15. The Bible said the Lord commanded Moses. De manera que Jehová habló mandando a Moisés. So did Moses command Joshua. Y Moisés mandó a Josué. And so did Joshua. Y así Josué lo hizo. And then to put it in a nutshell. Ponerlo uh, uh, junto. It said he left. Nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. No dejó nada sin hacer hacerlo lo que Dios mandó a Moisés. And then verse 23 of the 11th chapter. Y el verso 23. So Joshua took the whole land. Tomó pues Josué toda la tierra. According to all that the Lord said unto Moses. Conforme a todo lo que Jehová había dicho a Moisés. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes. Y entregó Josué a los israelitas por herencia conforme a su distribución según sus tribus. And the land rested from war. Y la tierra descansó de, de guerra. I want you to see this today. Yo quiero que lo mire hoy. I want you to see how this man left this legacy. Yo behind. quiero ver que, 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 que comprenda como este hombre dejó un legado. It wasn't about him. No era de Josué. Now this is a big man. Este es un hombre muy grande. This is a broad-minded Holy Ghost preacher. Es un, es un hombre, un predicador con una mente grande lleno de Espíritu Santo. That is not worried about who gets the credit. Que él no importaba quién reciba el crédito. Just that the kingdom is built. Reino sea levantado, gloria a Dios. And the kingdom is lifted up. Y que el reino sea levantado. It's not about Joshua's legacy. No, no es de, de Josué y su causa. Look at this amazing story. Mira esta historia tan grande. The 15th verse again. El versículo 15 otra vez. As the Lord commanded Moses. Como el Señor mandó a Moisés. Notice it doesn't say as the Lord commanded Joshua. No dice, no, uh, note que no dijo a Josué, pero a Moisés. He said it was as the Lord commanded Joshua. Moses, como Dios mandó a Moisés. You know, I've had people around the church. Tenido gente aquí en la iglesia, alrededor de la iglesia. They were not much help to the church. No era mucha ayuda a la iglesia. Because to get them to do something, pero para hacerlos a tratar de que hagan algo, 
They were of the mindset. Tenían el, 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 su mente. If the pastor calls me and asks me to do it. Si el pastor me llama a hacer algo. I'll do it. Lo voy a hacer. But I don't want someone else coming and telling me. Pero no quiero que alguien más venga a dijirme que me invite a hacer algo. But look at the humility in this man. Pero mire la humildad de esta persona. He was willing to take his instructions. Estaba listo para tomar sus instrucciones. From Moses. De Moisés. It didn't say God told him to do it. No le dijo que Dios le dijo. It said that Joshua to Moses que Moses told him. Que Moisés le dijo. So did Moses command for strong words there? Mandó a Josué aquí of being a team player. Que hacer ver parte del equipo. Of people working together. Gente trabajando junto. <laughs> it didn't say he asked him. It said he commanded him. Él no dice que le preguntó, pero lo mandó. Moses commanded Joshua. Mandó Moisés a Josué. And then the scripture said, and so did Joshua. Y así hizo José lo, lo mismo. You know, so many people Mucha gente will not bind together no a estar unidos juntos because of their ego. Por su ser and they're saying, I want to make a name for myself. Y dicen, Yo quiero levantar mi nombre. I want to get the credit. Yo quiero recibir toda la honra. I want it to be my legacy. Yo quiero que sea mi legado. I want it to be my idea. Yo quiero que sea mi idea. But this great man of God. Pero este hombre grande de Dios. He said it don't have to be my idea. Es, él dijo, no es mi idea. I didn't need to hear from God. Yo no necesito oír de Dios. Moses ah. is the man of God in my life. Es, es el hombre de Dios en mi vida. And by the way, all of us need people that we listen to. Y todos necesitamos gente que necesitamos escuchar y oír. None of us get so great and mighty that we don't need to be willing to listen. Ninguno no estamos tan grande que no podemos oír. Listen to godly people. Escuche a gente de Dios. When somebody starts telling me something, cuando alguien comienza a hablar conmigo, I stop and I think. Y paro y pienso. Do they live the life? Vive, vive la vida. Is that a praying person? Es una persona que ora. Do they ever make a sacrifice weekly of fasting? Hacen un sacrificio de semana en ayunar. And I base what they're saying on the life they're living. Y hago mi decisión en su vida que está viviendo. Because all of us need to listen. Porque todos necesitamos oír. Here a while back. Hace unos uh, tiempo atrás. We had a situation with some of the young people. Tenemos una situación con uh, uno de los uh, varios jóvenes. That uh, got out of control. Que tuvo fuera de control. They were playing music. And, uh, tocando música. It was gospel music. Era uh, uh, música cristiana. But some of them in our great hall. Pero algunos en, en este salón grande. Where they were playing drums and playing music. Tocando batería y música. Uh, did not have the Holy Ghost. No tenían el Espíritu Santo. And it wasn't really anything of my doing or even sons, but no, it no era de, del pastor o de mí que, que lo dejamos. And I had an elder un anciano to text me a good hot rebuke. Y me, 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 me rechazó, verdad, y me puso un texto muy uh, malo. And I texted him back. Yo le, le, le llamé para atrás. I said, you're absolutely right. Estás correcto. Thank you for loving us. Gracias por amarnos. Thank you for pointing this out. Gracias que lo apuntaste, lo, lo dijiste. Because we all have to listen. 
Porque todos necesitamos escuchar. There's a Moses somewhere speaking. Hay un Moisés hablando en cualquier lugar. And if we can get rid of our ego a little bit. Podemos quitar el, el ego de, de, de nuestro mente. And say, I want to be a team player. Y decir, yo quiero hacer un, un parte de un equipo. Let's have revival. Vamos a tener avivamiento. Let's have victory. Vamos a tener victoria. It's not about me. No es de mí. It's about the kingdom. Es el reino de Dios. It's about the legacy of the kingdom of God. Es el legado del reino de Dios. That it is victorious. Que él es victorioso. So, may God bless you today. Que Dios te bendiga hoy. You know, it doesn't really matter what country you're in. No importa en qué país esté. Nationality, race. Que sea, de qué raza sea. We're all fighting the same common battles. Todos peleamos las mismas batallas. The enemy is doing everything in his power. El enemigo está haciendo todo en su poder. To disjoin us. Para desconectarnos. Hey, we can't do much by ourselves. No podemos hacer nosotros nada solos. But when we join arm to arm. Pero cuando estamos a, a, a brazo a brazo. With one another. Con uno el otro. And say, you know what? I can lay my thoughts aside of what I think. Yo puedo decir, puedo poner mis pensamientos al lado. It's obvious you've got the message. Sé porque usted tiene el mensaje. And we're going to fulfill what God has spoken in your life. Y vamos a seguir lo que Dios ha hablado en su vida. Then the great work of God. Y el gran trabajo de Dios. Is done for it. Not our glory. Está hecho no para nuestra gloria. Or his glory. Para la gloria de Dios. Amen. God bless you all. Dios te bendiga hoy. I love you. Los amo. My brother and sister Robinette. Los hermanos Robinettes. I love those girls. Amo las, 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 las. I love all of you that are connected with amo todos that ustedes great que conectados hoy. And you've definitely got a great Moses. Tienen un gran Moisés. And let me say one other thing. Dijir otra cosa más. You don't need an Aaron. No necesitas un Aaron. Aaron will help you build a golden calf. Aaron te va a ayudar a hacer un becerro de oro. But a real Moses. Pero un, un Mo Moses real. Will lead you right. Te va, a, te va a guiar correctamente. So you are blessed today. Tan bendecidos hoy. To have a tremendous man of God. Tener un hombre de Dios. That loves the work of God with such passion. Dios con una tremenda, tremenda unción. That many times. Muchas veces. That passion is misunderstood. Muchas veces esa pasión no la entendemos. But for you that know the Robinettes, you know the love for the kingdom. Ustedes que conocen a los Robinettes saben del amor que tiene el reino. So may God bless you all. Que Dios los bendiga hoy. And may you keep walking with God. Y que sigan andando con Dios. Let's pray together. In Vamos a orar juntamente. Oh, wonderful Jesus. Oh, we Señor Jesús. Your blessings and benefits of living for Beneficios. Thank you for us wherever this message is going to be. <laughs> May the kingdom of God be built. Lo sea manifestado, Thank Señor. Be lifted up. And Lord, may we never Lord. judge things according to Señor, our legacy. Tu corazón, may we Señor. always see it according to the kingdom. Listos para el reino de Dios. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Love you all. God bless you. El Señor le bendiga. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Amen. We're so Amen. humbled that you were with us today. Gracias, Señor, por el testigo hoy. And I want us to close out this session. We have Vamos some a... very powerful men of God on this call today. Vamos a cerrar esta sesión con los hermanos poderosos de Dios. And I'm just going to ask uh, two or three of them to, to just close us out by praying the prayer of faith over everybody on this call. Voy a enseñar a dos o tres que oren la, la oración de fe por todos los que están aquí hoy. And they can just follow one another. Que siga uno el otro.
but I'd like to start, Brother Corbin, missionary to Bangladesh. If you don't mind unmuting, I want you to pray. And then I see Brother Clevenger, uh, my dear friend, great missionary. I want him to be ready to follow Brother Clevenger. And I see Brother Moreno, another great missionary. And I, I want him to be the last to pray over us before we close out this session. Today. Amen. <laughs> Jesus, we give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you honor, Lord, for the word of God that we have received. God. Jesus, we allow your word to sink deep into our spirit. And God, in the name of Jesus, we purpose to live according to the word of God. Jesus, we loose the gift of faith, the movement of your spirit among your people in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask in the name of Jesus that as we endeavor to live faithfully before you and one another, that the power and the glory of God would be manifest in these nations around the world. Our desire, God, is to point to you and you only. And so, God, we thank you for the word of God today. May thy word be settled in our hearts as it is in heaven. Nuestra, tu palabra está escondida aquí en nuestras almas como en el cielo. And we, may we be more like you in every area of our lives. Que nosotros seamos como tú, Señor, en nuestra área de nuestra vida. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Para vos corremos. In Jesus' name, God, we agree right now. In the name of Jesus, we command every door that is closed, we command it to open today. Lord, we pray, God, right now in those German-speaking nation, God, that they would begin to, Lord Jesus, that you would increase your people, God, increase our faith. Let the gift of faith that Brother Corbin prayed for, God, let it flow through our lives, oh God. I pray, God, divine connections, God. Let there be a divine intersection with each person, God, that we would come in contact, God, that you would give us lands and property, God, to do your work in those nations, God. I pray, God, that you would move forth into the, every place, God, that you would send your angels before us, God, that there would be divine appointments, God, as the angels ascended and descended in that place called Bethel, God. I pray, God, that there would be every day, every man and woman of God, God would have a divine appointment with you, God, that you would send them into their assignment, God, for that day, God. Lord, that you would speak to them in the secret place. And Lord, that you would lead them and guide them to the place that you have for them. That you would open their eyes to see the kingdom that is here. In Jesus' name. Jesus Realize that without you, we can do nothing, God. Thank you for this message that was spoke, spoken today. In your precious name, we pray for your anointing to flow through every single one of us. In your precious name, Lord God, we pray that every single one that does not know the power of prayer. Would flow through the power of prayer. We pray for the, the, the miraculous Lord God to be unleashed in every one of our nations. Que cada nación sea uh, alcanzada, Señor, a, a través de tu mensaje apostólico. Coming out of a difficult year, we pray in 2021. Estamos orando de este año que pasó muy dificultoso, Señor, que este año siguiente. That we will see unprecedented apostolic revival worldwide. Que podemos ver el, el avivamiento apostólico. And we realize that it can only be accomplished through prayer. Podemos ver lo que nomás a través de oración. 
In Jesus' name, let your spirit move in every single nation that we represent here tonight. In Jesus' name, let it be done. In the name of Jesus, que sea cumplido. Amen. Amen. Why don't we all just take ourselves off mute for a moment? Why don't we just take a moment and let's lift up our hands and thank the Lord for what we've heard here tonight. Thank you, Lord. you can change your life. Thank you.